Hello, I'm Delicia Sami, and I present to you my authentic, delicious fish stew recipe. This recipe promises to leave different layers of taste and aroma on your taste buds. Kindly sit back, do not skip this video and enjoy the process. For this recipe, I made use of fresh croaker fish. These are not frozen fish, these are fresh fish direct from the water. Bell peppers for garnishing. This is optional and you can skip this part. I'm using some red bell peppers, these are red tatashe peppers, some yellow petite peppers, some fresh tomatoes and some red scotch bernard peppers, some white onions and some fresh curry leaves. Our fish has been soaked in salt and lime juice. I'll be gently seasoning this fish with just garlic powder and fish seasoning. Our fish has been soaked in salt water already so you don't need to add extra salt to this in order not to make the fish salty. Leave to marinate overnight in your fridge and please keep this refrigerated to avoid spoilage. In a pan, I will be adding some flour. This is to prevent the fish from sticking to the bottom of the pan. We're building flavors. I'll be using a thumb sized ginger, six cloves of garlic, one size red onions, and white onions. In my blender, I add a tablespoon of thyme, a tablespoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of black pepper. <music> I blend this into a smooth paste. And then I add the fried onions, use them frying the fish back into the blender. That's because these onions should not waste. Fried onions also help to add more flavor. Kindly like this video. Please always like my videos. Always do that. Please like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. Share this video to your family and friends. Spread the good news of fish stew. In a clean pot, I transfer some of the fish oil into the pot. Then I, stop, I throw in my um, white onions already sliced. I fry those till they are translucent before adding my blended marinade and I leave this to fry. By now, the whole community should know that you're cooking fish too. And that's because this combination leaves a lot of in-depth flavor and aroma. I am not adding my curry leaves at this time, that's because if I add my curry leaves at this time, the flavors and aroma will easily die off before I am done cooking the stew. In there, I throw in two star anise for more flavor, a tablespoon of curry powder for more flavor and aroma, and I leave this to fry until they release their juices before adding my tin tomato paste is a store-bought. I fry this till I um, achieve this greeny texture and the uh, tin tomatoes loses most of its slappery taste before adding my blended tomato and pepper mix. And I leave this to fry until I see oil floating at the side of the pot. <music> I 
at this time I add uh, my fried fish, my vegetables, I stir this to perfection and I prepare my white rice. White rice and fish sauce is a combination made in the heavens. <laughs> Trust me, this fish stew recipe is the only stew recipe that would finally take you to your husband's house. Do not take my word for it. Trust me, do not, I repeat, do not take my word for it. This particular recipe has in-depth of flavors and aroma. I want you to try this recipe and that's because you definitely come back to tell me thank you. Everyone in my family thanked me for this recipe and that's because they enjoyed every single piece of it. Till I see you next time in my next video, please always do good, stay safe out there and always be a better version of yourself. Bye!